Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix this uh, blue screen of death you get on your Windows 7 machine where it displays driver IRQL not less or equal and it's got a stop code here of D1. Now what we can see is this is the file that caused the crash so it's some sort of networking device. So I've got five steps for you to to do to prevent this um, or to stop this blue screen of death coming back again uh, the most likely cause is some sort of issue with your device driver so we have a good idea that it's a networking device causing the issue so if you just expand the networking device or if it's the next one is usually display driver causing the issue so if you just um, find out what's causing it and if you come to here, if you right click and go properties and if you click on yeah, driver, you can see the driver version here 8.4.1 so what you need to do now is go to the Intel website or whatever the manufacturer is for your device uh, search for a newer driver and download and install it on your machine uh, reboot your machine and then hopefully that will resolve the issue if it doesn't, come back in here, do right click uninstall then click on OK then it will ask you to restart your machine what that's going to do is it's going to completely remove the driver from your system and all the files registry entries and everything from your machine so it's going to be a fresh install of the driver um, so yeah so uninstall that reboot and that should fix the issue next thing to do open the command prompt if you right click on it and do run as administrator and if you type in here sfc forward slash scan now all one word what this is going to do is this going to is going to check all of your operating system files just to make sure they don't have any um, issues if they do have issues it's automatically going to fix fix the issue I'm just going to let that run. Next thing to do is to check for corrupted files on your machine. It's possible a corrupt file is causing the crash. So on your C drive, just right click and go to properties. Click on tools. Under error checking, click on check now. Uh, if you get prompted here, click yes. Make sure both of these boxes are ticked and press start. Um, it can't run this check disk when you're in Windows so if you click on schedule check disk OK and then if you restart your machine if you restart your machine it's then gonna run a scan on the next um, system startup so let that run it usually takes between 10 and 20 minutes to run okay if you're still having problems after that go into control panel and search for if you search for update click on check for updates and if you click on here check for updates what, what that's going to do is it's going to check for the latest uh, Microsoft fixes that are available for your machine it's, <clears throat> it's possible that Microsoft have actually released a specific fix for this issue so if you just check that and install the updates, reboot and then come back in here and repeat the process two or three times because sometimes it takes two or three times to catch up depending on how out of date you, you are with the drivers. Okay and the last thing to do is um, to actually play about with the actual hardware. So open up your machine and these are the memory slots. So take the memory out, put the memory back in if you have two slots in here try only running one slot take one one memory out um, run on just one memory stick if the issue does not go away put the stick you took in took out back in and the stick that was in take that one out and then run on that stick uh, hopefully the system will be fine then then you know it's the memory um, reseat the CPU here so take the fan off take the CPU out and then put it back in if you've got any external cards here, if you take the cards out and then take them back in, put them back in. And these cables here, if you just reseat these cables as well, so just take it out. And then if you can blow into, into there, that would be good. And then plug it back in. And uh, yeah, you should be all good after that. 
If you do have any issues after this, please post it in a comment below. I'll try and help you out. Uh, but please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.